Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. This is my radio workshop. Uh, Morse Kia, look. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to show you a video. This is a, you know, for your iambic key, your dash is one side, dots the other, da 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 like that. As it goes, da 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 I've got a key. I did have, I've lost mine over the years. I mislaid it. I don't know where it went. However, I mean, my, my rig, my HF rig, has a uh, iron bit key socket so you know the the radio will do that but I wanted to be able to um, demonstrate to people how the, the key works possibly help people to learn Morse code etc so I thought well what I want to do is better use the key without the rig okay so I'm going to build this into a box and uh, that would be that would be rather nice there'd, there'd also be a socket on the back to go to the the radio itself so you know, I can, I don't have to have this going, beeping at me. I can just use it with the radio. So okay, let's have a closer look. I made a video. The lighting is not brilliant, but uh, have a look at the video clip anyway. I don't know how clear this is going to be. Um, there's the printed circuit board. That's the original little speaker they supply with it. So I, that's not very good. I just found that one at the moment. Um, you get. Um, various bits here, plugs, sockets, knobs and all sorts. There's the battery, there's the speed control pot. Now if I, I, I haven't got a key here at the moment, but uh, let's have a look, if I join these two here, that's the dashes, if I join these two here, that's my phone, that's the dots. So there it is, it's um, very small as you can see, I just disconnect the battery. I think they said it works from anything from sort of 3 to 12 volts, so I've got a 9 volt battery. There it is, it's just a little little board. And all this obviously wants to go into a box. There's the... Uh, there's all the, the gumph about it. Um, yeah, there, there's a, a key. I've got to get a key. So, yeah, all very good. Oh look, it works. It works fine at 3 to 15 volts. So um, I forget how much it was now. Was it 13 pounds? Anyway, I've built it and it works. Sorry, my photography is not up to much. <laughs> oh dear. But you get the idea. Um, yes, I'm going to put a proper battery clip on this. I've got a straight key that I use, but uh, I, I had an iambic key years and years, decades ago. As I said, I've lost it over the years. I don't know where it went. Um, and I do miss it. I, you know, I, I like the straight key. I will always use that. But I just want the iambic key. I don't know. I just like them. <laughs> uh, I, I did get used to it, and I used it most of the time back in the, oh dear, 70s? Uh, uh, 70s, early 80s. I don't know when it was. So there we are. Anyway, I've got various plastic boxes, so I shall build all this in. And um, I suppose it'll have to have an on-off switch. Uh, unless I can leave it connected. I don't know what sort of current it draws. I'll probably fit a little on-off switch somewhere. Um, and fit the knobs and everything, make it look nice. And the sockets. And uh, when that's all done, I'll show you. So yeah, if you want one of these, I think it, it was from China or where else. And I believe it was about £13. So uh, I'm really pleased with that. I have to wait a couple of weeks for it to turn up, but that's not a problem. So if you want to use an iambic type key with the two paddles, um, and your radio hasn't got a built-in key, uh, many, most I think of the modern ones have, uh, or you've got a homebrew radio, you know, you want to use a, you just got ordinary straight key jack socket, then this will you know, plug straight into that, any ordinary key socket, and you can use your iron bit here with it. So, um, yeah, there's not much else to say about it. It's, uh, I think it was, I just, just double checked, I think it was 14.25. I mean, yeah, that includes postage. And you get all the bits with it. The board is all pre-assembled. All you've got to do is connect all the wires. So make sure you've got a little, very little sol soldering iron for that. Yeah, don't use a huge, not like the iron I use for the old vintage radios. You know, with a huge bit, look, you, <laughs> you'll end up with one huge blob of solder over the whole board. Anyway, that's it. I don't think there's anything else to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.